Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. I will tell you that for our purposes, we are not going to be drawing a picture. So you don't have to worry about drawing pictures, okay? We are going to though, go ahead and just do the math. Now, the important thing to remember when you are adding or subtracting decimals is that you just have to line up your decimals. So your first step when you are adding or subtracting decimals is gonna be to line them up. Your second step is gonna be to drop that decimal down. Okay, that's it, drop that decimal. Now, five plus six is 11, we're gonna carry our one. One plus one is two, plus three more is five, and zero plus zero is zero. That's your answer, 0 0.51, okay? Now, eight, oh, sorry, first step, lined up my decimal, second step, bring my decimal down, okay? Eight plus seven is 15, carry the one. One plus zero plus zero, is one, 1 1.5, done, okay? You guys do four through nine. It's exactly the same, line up your decimals, bring your decimal down, then do your adding, it's super easy guys, okay? Now, whatever we do for number 10, we're gonna do, Draco bought 0 0.6 pounds of bananas and, one, and 0 0.9 pound of grapes at the farmer's market, what's the total weight of the fruit? I'm going to take those two numbers, add them up, make sure that we label it in pounds. Okay, so drop our decimal. Six plus nine is 15. We're going to carry our one. One plus zero plus zero is one. So 1 1.5 pounds. Okay, Nancy bikes 2.65 miles in the morning and 3.19 miles in the afternoon. What is the total distance she, did she bike? So drop our decimal. 5 plus 9 is 14, carry a 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 1 more is 8. 2 plus 3 is 5. So 5.84, and it's being measured in miles. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Here goes the lesson check. You guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. When it says sum, that means adding. Okay, super easy, guys. Don't make it more complicated. Okay. All right, our review. Jody walks 35 minutes a day. If she walks 240 days, how many minutes altogether does Jody walk? So, 240 days, 35 minutes each day. Let's multiply, okay? Five times zero, zero. Five times four, 20, carry a two. Five times two is 10, plus two more is 12, okay? We're gonna go back through and tick tack, toe, three times zero is zero, three times four is 12, carry a one, three times two is six, plus one more is seven, add those up, zero, zero, four, eight, so 8,400 minutes, I just put min with a period, okay, the speeder soccer team charged $12 to wash each car at a fundraiser car wash, the team collected a total of 600 $72 by the end of the day, how many cars did the team wash? So, 672 inside the box, 12 outside the box, okay? Underline those bad boys so you know where they came from, okay? So, 12 is not gonna go into six. 12 will go into 67, five times, five times 12 is 60, okay? Seven is definitely smaller than 12, so we can bring down our two, 12 times 6 is 72, subtract is 0. So 56 cars. Not bad. All right. Okay. David records the number of visitors at the snake exhibit each day for six days. His data are shown in the table. If admission is $7 per person, how much money did the snake exhibit make over six days? So I need to multiply each number by 7. Okay. So, 7 times 30, well, I know that, here, let's, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, we have another 25 times 7, so I'm not going to do that one twice, okay? But I will add it twice when, I'm, when we're adding them up at the end, okay? So. We have 7 times 0 is 
zero and seven times three is 21. So I'm gonna write here, I'm gonna write 210, okay? Seven times five is 35. Carry the three, seven times two is 14, plus three more is 17, 175. Now that's the one that I need to do twice, okay? Seven times four is 28, carry the two. Seven times four is 28 again, plus three more is 30. So 308. Now seven times two is 14, carry the one. Seven times one is seven, plus one is eight. 84. Seven times two is 14, carry the one. Seven times three is 21, plus one is 22, 224. Okay, now we need to add those up. Okay, so zero plus five plus five is 10, plus eight is 18, plus four is 22, plus four more is 26. Six down, carry our two, okay? Two plus one is three, plus seven is 10, plus seven more is 17, plus eight is 26, sorry, 25, uh, plus two more is 27, carry our two, okay? Two plus two is four, plus one is five, plus one is six, plus three is nine, plus two is 11. So, don't forget it's a dollar sign, $1,176, okay? That's a little bit of work, okay? Okay, so... All right, last one, guys, okay? What is the value of the expression? I'm going to write Tenda right there, okay? Now, we do not have any parentheses. We do not have any exponents, but we do have multiplication and division, okay? Which we actually, you have to do whichever one comes first, first, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite my six plus because that's not gonna go anywhere, okay? 18 divided by three is six again, and that times four didn't go anywhere, okay? Now I still have six times four that I need to do, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite my six plus because that didn't go anywhere, and I'm gonna write six times four is 24. Now, six plus 24 is 30, okay? All right, guys, good job. Thanks for hanging out for 3.5. Come on back for 3.6.